Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. If you appreciate my YouTube background videos, please consider subscribing to my channel, please hit that like button and feel free to comment down below. You can also contact me directly via cell phone or email with my contact information being in the video description. In today's walk-around video, I'd like to present you the new updated 2024 Porsche Cayenne. The vehicle in front of me, one of our first inventory units to arrive here at the dealership. So in today's walk-around video, we're going to highlight the changes that Porsche has made for the updated 2024 Cayenne. And of course, how that compares to the 2019 to model year 2023. Let's start with the exterior details in terms of design, starting at the front fascia, where we have a redesigned front hood redesigned headlights and redesigned front fascia. Starting with the front fascia, overall Porsche was looking for more sporty styling. You can see how sharp the and angular the front bumper design is with these large intakes on both sides. And this is the standard front fascia for the updated Porsche Cayenne. Also the hood, if you look at the lines here in the front hood, much sharper, creating that extra width. The vehicle is the same width of the previous generation or the pre-facelift. We can see the extra sharp lines to, to accentuate the extra sportiness. And the same also for the redesigned headlights. LED headlights have been standard since 2019. But overall, if you look at the beauty of these LED headlights and the way they are designed, uh, sculptures inside the hood and the fenders, typical Porsche design. So again, redesigned front fascia, redesigned headlights, redesigned front hood design, looking very sporty in its standard original um, front fascia. And here to the side, we can see this specific car was equipped with optional 22-inch wheels. Now, these are optional, as I mentioned, but a big change also has been made where the standard equipment wheel on the pre-facelift was a 19-inch wheel, and now that has been upgraded to 20 inches. Also, the suspension has been changed. So the Porsche Active Suspension Management, which used to be an extra on the Porsche Cayenne, is now standard. Also, the suspension itself has been redesigned by Porsche. Definitely noticeable if you go on a test drive how different it feels. The side profile of the vehicle, very similar to the pre-facelift, which was produced between model year 2019 to model year 2023. Getting here to the back, we can see another redesign on the tail light design, being now fully three-dimensional, where the previous generation, the pre-facelift, had an enclosed tail light design. Do we now have the typical 3D design? Introduced, of course, also in the 992, 911. Going all the way across with the light bar, looking very sporty. Accentuating that extra sharpness, that angle in the tail light design itself. Twin exhaust system still standard. We also redesigned the engines or re-engineered the engines. The standard engine is still a 3 liter V6 turbo, which used to produce 330 horsepower. And that horsepower, the number went up now to 348 horsepower. Connected still to the 8-speed automatic transmission as standard. And also as standard, the Porsche Active all-wheel drive. Overall, again, the redesigned tail lights. The wheel changes we have done, the new suspension system, the new front fascia, the hood, and the headlights looking very nice. Okay, so we talked about some of the details on the outside. Let's talk about the trim levels. Introduction initially would be the Cayenne and the Cayenne Coupe. Then we'll have later on the Cayenne S version in both the classic body style as the Coupe version. And then the Turbo GT, which is only available as a coupe for the US market. And then uh, next year, we expect the e-hybrid to be both available in the classic style as also the coupe version. Okay, let's have a look on the inside where a lot of redesign has taken place. A completely new designed dashboard, still typical Porsche Cayenne or typical Porsche design, but a lot of technology or inspiration from Porsche Taycan. The biggest change there right in front of the driver is the new virtual or digital cluster where now we have the beautiful Cayenne name there popping up as we open the door. When the ignition is turned on, you still see some typical Porsche design with the circles. Ignition still placed on the left-hand side, but replacing the key shape element by a start button. Also a big change would be the gear selector, which used to be in the center part. And just like Porsche Taycan and Porsche 918 Spyder, this has now been moved here to the dashboard section. This creates the room in the middle for more storage compartments. Also standard now is a wireless charger, which is placed right in this compartment. And then we have the new touch technology there in the middle. Also new design steering wheel, which is the same as the Porsche 911, the 992 generation. So new steering wheel, new dashboard, new digital cluster in front of the driver, new air vent design, new door handle design, new door panel design. Also the trim inside of the door panels and the dashboard, very different, very 911-ish, sports car-like. Uh, compared to the pre-facelift pre vehicle. 
So yes, and we also now offer the Porsche, Porsche de, um, passenger display as a factory option, which will be placed, of course, in front of the passenger section. The PCM navigation system, same size as the previous generation, but again, the biggest change there in terms of digital technology would be the cluster, just like Porsche Taycan being fully digital in front of the driver. So again, we talked about the new engines, the updated engines, the new dashboard design, the new exterior details. Again, I had the chance to drive, of course, the, the new generation car. Really like the way it feels. Suspension setup has also been dramatically changed. According to Porsche, one of the biggest redesigns that they've done. This is still the third generation of the Porsche Cayenne since inception in the 2000s. But of course, uh, now the third generation uh, being entered in the market in 2019 has now had a big update from other year 2024. Again, my name is Alexander, Porsche Certified Sales Professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. I want to thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Please contact me directly if you're in the market for Porsche. Happy to provide you with the information regarding availability, full specifications, and of course, timeline. This is the 2024 redesigned Porsche Cayenne, specifically finished in white with a black Bordeaux interior, looking beautiful and sporty with these 22 inch wheels. Thanks so much once again for watching, share the Porsche passion, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.